So one thing that triggers a lot of happiness is sex. So unless you are leading a monastic life, the woman was there. Uh, who likes sex? Who wants more sex? Yeah. Who wants more orgasmic power? Yeah. yeah. Orgasmic energy. Yeah. Right? The juice. The juice that we have inside can be a lot suppressed because we are ashamed. And hopefully when we don't show each other's bodies. We feel guilt and shame. Let's see. If I come to you, come. How is your sex life? It's great. It's great. Yeah. How many times did you orgasm this week? My partner is actually Your partner is not here. Yeah, Monogamous. And that stops you from orgasming. With other people, yeah. With other people. What about yourself? Um, you don't have the time for self Yeah. Do you, do you have this kind of conversation with people in the subway? How many orgasm did you have this week? Why not? Why not? What's wrong? How do you orgasm when there's a giant elephant? When something's on fire, you can't think about anything else. So the, the thing that is really interesting is that we have been putting all the suppression, all the sleeves over our sexuality. Sexual freedom doesn't mean that we are going to go around and fuck everybody. It means freeing the sexual energy to that if we meet, you know, we meet for the first time. If we already have this massive flow of people that you know, it becomes juicy straight away. We don't even have to touch each other. It's already happening. So we are going to start tapping on it to be into that. And uh, if you want more of this this evening, vital sex at 8 o'clock, this is what we are going to tap into, the full erotic power of what we are going to build up now. So we are just going to do a, you know, a few moves to tap into the, the erotic and then you start moving your hips, little circles, especially for guys. <laughs> <laughs> Feel the sensuality inside of you. You become the most beautiful, powerful lover in the world. Except like, uh, I have uh, a very good you your pleasure in your body in time. Especially people who are a man. Who are lots of choice. Yeah. Even um, like ice cream, even like weed. In my country, in Nepal, if you like to eat ice cream, we have about uh, 40 portions of chocolate. But here, it's almost nearly 100. Uh, Who is feeling uncomfortable with you? Uh, 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 a little bit. Anybody? Yeah. Uh, a little bit, right? Oh, why? Yeah. Oh, why? Why? Oh, why? Oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> Where does that come from? Where does that yield or that shape come from? I don't know about you, but I don't want it in my life. I want to be able to do that and be like, ah. <laughs> 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 you watch these uh, YouTube videos online where men and women are orgasming. It's juicy, it's powerful. If it wasn't for that, we would not be alive. I'm saying God wants us to be sex. However, we're not trying.